How's it going guys? Richard Dunbar here. Just uh, looking at some footage on the computer here from about a month ago. We had a company come out called RC Mowers to demo their remote control mowers for us. Uh, and their track units, they're pretty stout. They can take some woody species. They can operate on some pretty extreme slopes. Uh, but I'm just going to kind of talk through as we look at this footage here. And uh, you can kind of see how this machine looks it's uh got a kind of an underbelly mower deck there but it can take some woody species like i said up to a few inches in diameter uh, pretty reliably the remote for this thing is actually very nice it just kind of straps around your neck and, and it's just a little platform right in front of you um, the controls are super easy once you get used to it i mean you'll get used to it in probably 10 seconds really uh, very easy to run and you can see here it's kind of mowing over some of these small mulberries that we had growing on this hillside this is just maybe first year maybe second year growth mulberries so they're not very big but uh, it's really no problem for this thing sometimes when you drive over those mulberries it doesn't cut it down to ground level right away uh, it might leave stem I don't know six inches uh, to maybe a foot tall uh, and then you might just have to back over it again just to get it cut down to the ground level and so the deck is adjustable too so we were able to see that i think right now we're mowing right about four and a half inches i think is what we set it at and it's doing a pretty good job um, especially when you go back over it uh, the second time so you kind of mow through it it gets most of it and then you back over it again and it really cuts everything and gives it that nice finish. So it's a lot of just brome, like I said, with the mulberries that we're, we're cutting there. Um, I think the guys were saying that it, it can do up to about 55 degree slopes, give or take a few degrees, uh, but which is pretty steep if you think about it. I mean, 45 degrees is uh, pretty steep in itself and to go even steeper than that is is pretty crazy so you know you definitely could would not want to be on a 55 degree slope on something like a, a zero turn mower or something let's say that you were riding on and obviously this is even more uh useful or more practical than a zero turn in a lot of cases when you're dealing with tall vegetation that's overgrown especially on hillsides that if you if you neglect it all all growing season and and fail to mow it then this can come in and hit that tall stuff no problem uh, as well as as well as that woody material and you know the safety operator aspect of it all uh, the fact that you don't have to ride on it on those steep inclines if it slides down the hill or it tips uh, you're obviously not on there for that and so uh, one other thing too just some kind of strategy there's a look at that remote right there um, one strategy that you kind of take as you're going about mowing this hillside is you try to keep the track you, you operate sideways basically instead of going straight up and down you can go straight up and down just fine and it, it'll do it uh, but if you get on really steep inclines you'll want to be sideways just because of the way that it's designed it's very wide and you're less likely to slip or roll the machine or something like that this also does have a safety thing built in. Uh, if, if you get too steep, it'll actually kill the controls. Uh, so if you in, if you go above 55 degrees slope where it's like teetering on the edge of tipping over, it won't let you operate it anymore. But this does have a winch system built into it. So if you did get yourself into a bind, you can pull that winch out and uh, hook it to something and drag yourself out of areas. It can operate in, you know, a little bit of water even if you had a solid base underneath of that water. You know, nothing like too mucky or anything, but uh, but those tracks are, are pretty uh, capable. And so, yeah, I don't know. It's it's really pretty cool. We're, we're hoping we can get this thing for our fleet of equipment for attacking different, different areas that are hard to get. Otherwise, you know, we've got a ground shark on the skid loader that we would probably hit this with. So thanks again to the guys at RC Mowers for bringing their mower out and doing a demo for us. 
it was really nice to see their equipment in action and i hope you guys enjoyed that video as well and, and learned something about maybe the capabilities of the machine and maybe if it's something that you know you would want to purchase in the future uh, for us at least we're hoping to add this to our fleet of equipment uh, it does not have a cheap price tag however it is a little bit expensive so, you know, we have to do a cost-benefit analysis and, and see if this is worth, uh, you know, the money versus using potential other equipment for this type of job. You know, I could definitely see this thing being profitable in a lot of cases if you were doing, uh, you know, work clearing around ponds or steep hills or, you know, just areas that are less, um, less traversed, more neglected areas. Uh, you could, it could be a money maker. Um, of course, you do have that overhead cost of the uh, equipment itself. But uh, yeah, you know, stay tuned. Hey, more to come. Peace.